from the visionary director behind that movie where Amy Adams talks to tentacles. You. Who are you? Comes a critically acclaimed sequel that dares to ask provocative questions like, what is a soul? What is the nature of love? And hey, where's everybody going? Hello, we got Gosling here. You guys like Gosling, right? Blade Runner 2049. For 40 years, audiences have been astonished by the prescience of 1982's Blade Runner, which may have predicted a future where the Soviet Union survived, flat screens were never invented, and wars were fought by intelligent androids, but did predict a world where every sci-fi movie and TV show was a cerebral ponderous mind about artificial intelligence that so weighed down with importance all the characters talk at half speed. Makes one feel desire. So what you saw didn't happen. Many is the night I dream of cheese. I do mind. And announce visits. You police. Return to the world of Blade Runner 30 years later, a grim dystopia where replicants are still hunted down by the LAPD. A reboot-friendly great blackout has wiped out any information that could potentially move the plot forward. Pre-blackout, that's gonna be tough. And meet Kay, a new kind of replicant that can't ever go rogue and turn on his masters. We don't run. Only older models do. Until he totally goes rogue and turns on his masters. What the f is with you? Ryan Gosling disappears into a brilliant performance where he says very little. You have anything more to say? Barely emotes. They'll be coming after me soon. Do you remember anything? you have any memories from before? You look lonely. and spends most of the film by himself just kind of wandering around. Wait, has every Ryan Gosling character in the last decade been a replicant? This explains so much! Are you gonna go beat him up for me? My stunt guy? Huh? Original star Harrison Ford returns as Rick Deckard, the maybe replicant Blade Runner, who like a true deadbeat dad, abandoned his child and ran away to live in Vegas. He'll take longer to show up in the movie than he would at a celebrity charity event, then give his most lively and energetic performance of the decade. So he's at about a five, five and a half. He'll face off against cruel technologist Jared Leto, who finally got a chance to show up in a sequel. Plus, he'll be reunited with his true love, Rachel, and... Oh, wow, yikes. That is... Well, but there are lots of other women characters in the movie. It's not like they're all badasses or sex objects who get killed to move the story along. Like Robin Wright as badass Lieutenant Joshi, Jill... Okay, well, there's Love, the badass evil replicant who's determined to... Okay, there's Joy, an artificially intelligent hologram programmed to please men, and then dies. Alright, how about Mariette? She's a prostitute. Oh, you don't even smile. But she lives! She makes it through the movie, I think. You know, I had to go to the bathroom like twice, so I really don't know. So finally, clear out some time for this epic, beautifully realized second chapter to one of the most influential sci-fi stories of all time that delivered the original storytelling audiences demanded as an alternative to interchangeable blockbusters, then didn't show up to support it at all. Who'd you bring? No one. Because this movie isn't just about mindless robot fistfights, it's a high-minded meditation on the ethics and reasoning behind robot fistfights, okay? Yeah, you punch that robot. We'll figure out later if it has a soul. Starring Special K, Living Alone, Solo, E Girls, 30 Seconds to Mars. No, really, that's how long it takes in the future. Princess Buttercup, The Terminatrix, Dave Bautista, and My Little Pony, Hardship is Tragic, Bods Baby.
You know, it's really too bad that this movie didn't do better. Villeneuve probably won't get another shot at reinventing another classic sci-fi property. Huh. Well, it'd probably be smaller scale. To gauge audience interest at first. Are these guys laundering money for the cartel or something? Peons assemble. I'm sorry. Your answer has to be in the form of a question. I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. I'm digging a hole. He's not a dude. You're a dude. This is a man. I'm a spidey girl in the Marvel world.